Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lily. I am so happy that you are here with me. In today's video, I am going to do a fun project with you. We are going to take some corrugated cardboard and we are going to transform it into beautiful junky tags that you can use for your junk journals or you can use to attach to a present this holiday season. Let me show you what they look like because they are so stinking cute. I'll start with one. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I hope you can pick it up, but I'll give you a close up once I turn the camera over. I used a lot of die cuts that I have cut throughout the years that are just left over. And some of these are from 2018, 2019, 2020, and they just keep accumulating and it keeps growing in my Christmas embellishment box. And so I thought, I need to use it. Plus, I have a ton of leftover corrugated cardboard that I am going to reuse. I'm going to recycle a bunch of it, but it's so good and I just had to make these cute little tags. Like this reindeer die cut, I think it's from a project that I did in 2018. So that's what I'm using. Old die cut embellishments and some corrugated cardboard and you know eyelash trim just makes everything look so festive and here's another one look at this and I used die cuts not not only some that I have die cut but also items that come in ephemera kits and then just random objects that I have in my Christmas embellishment boxes and let me show you what it started out as corrugated cardboard just junky corrugated cardboard and this right here we are going to transform and we are going to make some more beautiful junky corrugated Christmas tags. You're going to have so much fun. I recently put together an Ikea dresser and I have tons of cardboard left over and most of it will go into the recycling bin but there was so much of it that I just can't get rid of and I just want to be able to reuse it to make some of these. Aren't they so stinking cute? All right, let's go. Let's get started. I do have a little disclaimer and that is this is not my original idea. This is something that I saw on Pinterest and it was just it was just such a beautiful tag on Pinterest and I know that they used um, corrugated cardboard and so because I have all of that cardboard left over from putting that dresser together, I thought I'm going to give it a try. And I immediately got to work and I just used whatever it is that I had in my Christmas embellishment box. And so they, they are all going to be a little bit different because, you know, it's just the different things that I have. And I hope that you give these a try. Your embellishments are obviously going to be different from my embellishments but this gives you an opportunity for you to go through your your Christmas stash and create your own and I used different elements for the different tags to give you an idea on how to use different things so on some I used the paper eyelets and others I used metal eyelets and um, I used different ribbons, different flowers, different die cuts. And you know, the corrugated cardboard, like I just showed you, it's not all perfect. This was literally junky cardboard from the boxes that I tore open from that Ikea dresser. And most of it can be salvaged. I still have a ton that I want to go through and kind of break down in more manageable sizes. In fact, I'll probably go through most of it and cut it down to the tags, you know, to a tag size. No measurement here, okay? I am taking the corrugated cardboard and I am going to make sure that these are cut so that the tag and the corrugations on the cardboard are running vertically up and down. And I'm guessing that the tags, I mean, if you want exact measurements, you you can go ahead and do this but because this is junky paper and I didn't want these to look too neat I thought just kind of cutting them haphazardly would be fun I want to say they're probably three and a half maybe four inches wide and maybe about five inches in length I mean I don't know I didn't measure I just kind of eyeballed it 
whatever looked good. So you can, if you're going to make these, and I hope you make this because, you know, I think that corrugated cardboard um, is plentiful. And by the way, if you don't have cardboard, because maybe you don't have a card, you know, you don't have cardboard laying around, um, and maybe you don't want to go through the trouble of peeling that top layer like I'm going to show you in just a moment, they sell corrugated cardboard at the craft stores <laughs> ready for you, like almost like in 12 by 12 um, sheet sizes. So if you want to go that route, you know, what, whatever works for you. So now I am peeling off the top layer and I'm not going to take it off 100% because I want it to look kind of grungy. So I'm just going to peel off most of it. And it's so satisfying when I can grab a hold of that thin layer of top paper and peel it off in one go. That's the best part. Um, but I wasn't that lucky. So some of it came off in tiny little pieces. And then other sections came off, you know, in, with larger pieces. So if you have some pieces that are stubborn, just leave them alone. It's okay if you don't completely take it off. And I'm using my Tim Holtz pick. And I was being really rough with it and kind of tearing the top layer as I was trying to pull it off. But I realized that if I'm just gentle and kind of lift that top layer, it may come off all in one piece like this. So satisfying. And so we want it to look not perfect. We want it to look a little bit grungy. I'm not even going to trim off the bottom. That's kind of jaggedy. I'm going to leave it as it is. And now I'm going to clip those top corners and I'm just going to eyeball it again. We're eyeballing because, you know, th this is fun. It doesn't have to be perfect, but once you add all of your embellishments, uh, that's, that's where it's, it begins to take shape and it just ends up looking so good. So I'm going to take a regular office hole punch. And I'm just going to punch a hole and you can use this type of hole punch or if you have a crop -a dial you can also use a crop -a dial I'm doing this just to give you a visual so that you can go through and use whatever supplies you have we just want to make a hole and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these up with paint so I'm taking some of this folk art acrylic enamel paint and I am going to dry brush the paint on the tags. And it's, it's not going to be an even layer. I'm not coating it all. And you can see how I'm just, just kind of having fun just kind of playing around with that color, adding it mainly all around the edges. But even then, it's not going to, I'm not aiming to, to give it 100% coverage. But just kind of loosely give it a dry coat all around the edges. Not so much on the center because most of that will be covered. And you could see from the samples that I've made on the side. I do want some of that cardboard to show through. And notice how, you know, the bottoms are kind of jaggedy. I just love the way that looks. If you don't want it to look too grungy, too jaggedy, um, then you can trim off that bottom and make it a nice even edge. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I spent Thanksgiving at my middle daughter's house with my other children and my grandchildren and my son-in-laws. And we had a fantastic time. Lots of food, um, lots of conversations, lots of laughter, lots of pictures. It was a great time. And I was still recovering from a cold and my voice is still a little bit hoarse but I'm feeling a lot better. That Thursday morning, before I went over to my daughter's house, I ran a 5K. I do it every year, except the years uh, in the past, I've ran a 10K that morning. But this year, I signed up for just the 5K. And I wasn't feeling 100%. I was still having a little bit of a cough. I had 
a little bit of a head cold, but I had the proper gear and it was 24 degrees that morning and my granddaughter and I, we were well dressed and prepared for the run. We had so much fun. It was, I was so proud of my granddaughter that she decided to run with me because I have done these runs by myself. My son-in-law runs them too, but he runs um, like the 10Ks and he he runs so much faster. He runs, you know, he can finish he can finish a 5K in 20 minutes where it takes me, you know, 40 minutes to finish a run. <laughs> but it was so much fun and he was also there. It, it was so, so cold. Okay, I want to show you on this tag, I am taking a an eyelet. And this is one that I have punched out from gold cardstock. And now on this one, I'm going to use a gold metal eyelet and I'm going to set it with the crocodile. The cardboard is very porous, so it's a very light paper. And so if you decide you want to use the crocodile, press it gently um, or else you're just going to tear right through it because it's fairly thin and lightweight. And this is to give you an option where you can use paper eyelets or you can use metal grommets or you don't have to use any at all. But I want to show you the different options. So that morning when we were done with the race, I actually did, as sick as I was when I was running that 5K, um, I actually did better time than the previous two 5Ks that I ran. Don't ask me how I did that, but <laughs> I performed much better. Don't know why. I think it's because I was really saving my energy um, and really taking care of myself because I just wanted to feel as close to 100% as possible for running that turkey trot. It's so much fun. I look forward to it every year. Okay, so now I am going to add some trim to the bottom just for another layer of interest and just adding some beauty to it. I happen to have this very thin glittery um, ribbon and I wanna say it's probably from Dollar Tree. I've had it for a while. And I'm just gluing it down at the bottom and trimming the edges. And I decided to use the same ribbon on all three of these tags where on the other ones I did use a different ribbon. So I'm just really just going through my stash, using up things that I haven't used in a while. This is, these are leftover die cuts that some of them are maybe five years old, but every single year during the holidays, I grab all of my Christmas dies and I just go die happy. And I especially like to use scraps of papers to die cut and punch. So that's why I have all of these little random bits and pieces and those others that I had in that Ziploc bag. But I also have this container of ephemera dies and tags and labels and things that I have collected from scrapbooking kits, ephemera, little um, ephemera die cut pieces. So again, just going through all of my Christmas stash and looking for things that I can use to embellish these tags. Your stash is obviously going to be different from my stash. So you use whatever you have. And this is where it's fun because you can grab all of your embe embellishments, lay them out on your tabletop, sift through those and kind of go through those things and use them to embellish these tags. And it's okay if some of them are maybe that when you die cut, they're not perfect. And I save those too. So some of them are torn and some of them, some of the negative space didn't completely punch out, but you can always position those that, you know, those imperfect pieces, position them in a way where you can embellish over them where no one's even going to know <laughs> that they're, they have a, you know, a few defects, you know. All of those things can be reused. So now I am going to begin to glue down all of the pieces. And I love using this glue. It is the ultimate glue. It is my go-to glue. And it's great because it works on heavy embellishments as well. 
such as plastic, metal, glass. It's great and it dries pretty quick. It dries clear and it's perfect for using if you're going to glue down glass or metal or even wooden embellishments that tend to be a little bit heavier. Even those dimensional flowers. So this, this stuff is perfect for that. And if you're interested in this, I do have an Amazon storefront where you can see a lot of the tools and supplies that I use, and I'll have that link in the description below. If you have any questions about any of the things that I'm using, um, please feel free to ask. I reply to all of my comments, um, and I try to do it as soon as possible or at least within 24 hours. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of these cute little poinsettias. I love adding dimension to my projects and they work well in the journals as well because journals, if you have a journal, most of the time journals aren't flat on their, you know, they're, they're not laying flat on your bookshelf or your tabletop. Usually they're upright and so things don't get smushed as much. And so that's one of the reasons, I hope that makes sense. That's one of the reasons why I don't mind using a lot of dimension in my journals. But these aren't just for junk journals. They're junky tags, but they can also be used to dress up a present. Wouldn't these look cute tied to a bow on something gift wrapped or dangling from a gift bag? You can even make these, make a bunch of these to adorn your Christmas tree. Oh, a nice little kind of shabby, grungy Christmas tree. Oh, that would be so pretty. What a great idea to do that too. I like that. This is an old little star ornament and it is, it's made of plastic and it's covered in glitter. And this, it, see how I'm pointing out that this glue is perfect for, for plastic. That's why I like it so much. And it grabbed hold really quick and it took about, it took a good 30 minutes for it to completely dry and it was perfect. And because I have my glue gun handy, you know, I go back and forth. It all depends on what it is that I'm using or I'm gluing down. So this part goes really fast. I think the, the tedious part is actually tearing off that top layer from the junky tag. That's the most tedious part. But this part right here, once you have all of your little embellishments and all of your decorative elements out, this part goes pretty quick. And you can go as little or as much as you want with the embellishments. I've mentioned this so many times, I am a maximalist and I love adding tons of embellishments on my work. And sometimes I do hold back because then it starts to look a little bit crazy. <laughs> but I've tried working on uh, minimalism. I can't do it. I just can't. I've tried. <laughs> I just love... I love all the busy, busy art projects, busy work. As long as it's cohesive and it all makes sense, then I just keep adding to it. Eyelash trim is one of my favorite things to use because you really don't need a lot to make it look um, beautiful. And it also makes your project look super festive, like it's ready to party. I do have some of this gold eyelash trim also listed in my Amazon storefront. I have this cute little jar of sequins. So I'm going to glue some of these little uh, sequins kind of randomly on the tags, almost as if they just fell in place. And I'm doing this to add a little bit of glitter, a little bit of glimmer to the tags. So maybe three or four of these and just adding a little bit of, just a dot of the glue and then positioning them. I have this little pickup tool and oh my gosh, 
My mind just went blank. I can't remember what it's called, but I've had it for a really long time. I forget I have it, so I rarely use it. And it has like a gummy end, and it's super, super convenient for picking up little gems and also your sequins. But I'm going to share a hack with you um, where if you don't have a little pickup tool like this, and there are others on the market, but you can also use a crayon. And I learned this trick from Kathy, Kathy Mario, the Crafty Chica. She did this a while back. So you just take your crayon, and sometimes you have to warm up your crayon a little bit, but it works just as well to pick up the little sequence and glue it down. Because if you notice, I have really long fingernails. And so it would be a little bit difficult to try to pick those up with my fingertips. And so I had to find a pickup tool, but a crayon works fantastic. So keep a crayon handy because it also works on those little, um, little plastic crystal gems too. So just adding a few more, I think out of all the tags, this one with that gold star is my favorite. I love the way that looks. But then again, if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love gold embellishments. So if I can add gold glimmer, gold glitter, gold shine to my projects, that's the one I'm going to love the most. See how easy it is to pick those up? with the crayon. It works just as good as any other expensive pickup tool. So thanks to the Crafty Chica for that little tip. Let me know in the comment section below if you plan on making some of these. We are now in December so happy December to each and every one of you. It is the holiday season. I wish you the absolute best. And I hope that you are currently creating and making beautiful things for the Christmas holiday season. It really is my favorite time of the year. So many projects, so little time. I've got tons more projects coming your way. And this is how they all turned out. App, who could, who would have thought that you could take corrugated, junky cardboard and turn it into a beautiful project? You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I wish you all a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for being here with me. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.